Okay, so we got the new EG4 6000. FedEx delivered it to the wrong address. And uh, somebody went and found it for me. They also delivered that same person's product here. So we got uh, 89 pounds of whatever. I just drug it in the door. And I noticed that there's not many YouTube videos on the 6000 product. So I figure I'm going to do me a video of it. And I'm going to suspect that they opened the bottom side of the box. And I am correct. So there it is. In all its glory. And I'm going to show you my setup on the wall. I'm doing this in my kitchen. So when you don't have a wife, you can... Uh, do things like this without getting in trouble. Right back to you. Okay, we have the old system. Bought it off of eBay a year ago or more. It does okay. I'm running it on 24 volts. Your good old Walmart ever start batteries. These are the marine grades. Six of these seems to do pretty good. I can keep my TV. Uh, internet modem, laptop, cell phone charger, Roku box, that kind of stuff going. These boxes here, they do not charge properly. You cannot program them as they say that you can. The functions just don't work. This wonderful unit worked beautiful up until a certain point, And then once you put too much load on it, it blows smoke out like it's got a wood-burning stove under it or something. So what I have done, I've got temporarily run my jumper cables in from my solar power which is kind of doing it off the roof comes in through here that those black cables also go to the attic they will come in here we're going to have the supply wire coming out of the eg4 and i'll give you a panned out look that's the bot the piece of wood on the wall that we're going to use i brought the outgoing power i'm sorry this will be the incoming power coming into this box with a quick disconnect um, you just pull that and you can disconnect your power one modification I will probably make before this goes completely together is I'm going to add me a little bit of a piece of wood on top up there to hang my EG4 off of because I measured it and it would come down to this point which would crowd my board and if I raise it up that far, I've got that much more working space to work my wires and everything. So, I believe they said it was 24 inches long, 16, 14, 15 inches wide. So, somewhere in that neighborhood, uh, 24 tall and about 14 and change wide. So, I'll figure about 15 is a good safe number. So, we'll uh, come back to you later. It's 89 pounds of pure fun to try to hang on the wall. Okay, this is me putting the solar panels on the roof. I have made myself a boom up top using the tractor to get them up this high so they won't catch on the edge of the roof as they go up. And I currently have already gotten two of them up today. I'm fixing to put four more up. And I previously had eight of them up. And you can start to see them here. I don't know how much the camera will actually see of what I see, but that's the panels right now. And I'll have that top of the roof full when I get through. Come back to you in a little bit later with more information. Here we have a EG4 6000 in its natural habitat. This system has never been powered up. It was attempted to power up. Had a big error, made a pop noise. And uh, it did nothing. Let's see if I can get me a product name here. So I've called tech support. Uh, I, this all started March 1st. It is currently April 14th or 15th. I forget what day it is. Saturday and uh, I had everything set up 
ready to go. And uh, Caltech support, they asked me to get various meter readings and battery readings and everything else. And I gave that to them and explained to them, look, the thing's dead in the water. Never hooked AC to it, nothing like that. So they wait for over a week, send me an email back, and uh, pretty much tell me that out of four batteries, I'm running a 36 volt system. And that was after three we uh, over two weeks worth of wait on getting it shipped here. Seems like the first one they tried to ship, FedEx delivered it somewhere else. But they did wait two weeks from the time that I paid for it to get it into FedEx. This is Signature Solar. So as of last, I called finally after not getting in from any information back after they sent me the bogus email about how uh, I get 36 volts out of four batteries, shouldn't mix my batteries, and they wanted some more information. And I just told them, I said, look, you're aggravating the heck out of me. So... I am uh, wanting my money back on this thing. Send me a return label. It needs to go back to the factory. It's physically defective. Not to mention it did come in with screws missing and I took pictures of it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put that in the video. Uh, hard to import pictures and I'm learning videos still. Not big on this video stuff, but you need to tell the truth about companies that are out there. So, we have this box sitting here. I've got the original shipping crate. Up my stairs. I'm still working on the house. Been working on it forever. Trying to get my power bills down. I have 3,500 watts on the roof. And uh, I filed a complaint after arguing with them the last time when they refused a refund. And this is over a month after it started. Telling them that I've never been able to have a system running. And they told me that it's against their company policy because it was installed. So we have a pretty much piece of crap system here. I left him a nice little complaint on Google and some business owner, quote unquote, left a message wanting to know my contact information. The nut doesn't realize my username on Google shows my email address practically if you add them at google.com after it. And he can go into his database, customer service, and say, huh, which email has this particular name in it? So, uh, I figured I'd put a nice little video out for Signature Solar and let them know what their customer service is like. T Tier 2 sec tech support is supposed to be calling me. That might happen in the next month or two. I don't know. Meanwhile, I have went out to buy another system, which I told them I would like my $1,300 back so that I can go out and buy another system and pull more systems off grid you know, in my house. Anyhow... I uh, want to say good luck Sign Signature Solar and give any warnings to anybody considering buying a EG4 6000. I understand there are some problems with the 6500 products and I also would encourage anybody to go out and look at the Better Business Bureau rating. They have an A plus rating with 12 complaints in the last six months. Many of them about the quality of products, quality of packing, poor customer service, some interesting reading to be, ha be had in uh, the Better Business Bureau. I'm out.